Hello, people. Welcome back to another video by your good friend, Chad Marco. Make sure you guys attack that like button and let's talk. So you guys know how I do. Whenever um, I have a video that gets a lot of attention, conversation, and comments, I'll go ahead and respond to those comments directly in a separate video and the last video i put up that was uh quite popular was the iris rejection <laughs> rejection video um so i think i'll just go ahead and respond to uh, a lot of the comments uh right here so let's get right into it so subneric says the fact that you wanted her is an l brother you deserve better i'm not even writing you know i don't agree i think um you know when you talk about what someone might deserve or something like that i don't even like getting involved in like those type of conversations because it kind of makes you come across as being entitled when you say i deserve this and and whatnot um you know i can see why people might look at iris and and maybe they don't think she's all that remarkable um but i think in today's in, in today's time with girls sometimes less is more and I think part of what made her or makes her appealing to me is her simplicity. You know, Iris to me kind of seems like the kind of girl that could easily fit into a man's life and not really get in the way. And I think that a lot of girls today, they don't really have that. I think, and look, you don't have to be that way. You can be a girl who likes to go out and party and have a big social circle, like that's cool, but you gotta find a man that matches that frequency. And I think my frequency is just more in tune with being introverted, a homebody. You know, I'm somebody I can enjoy just staying home all day playing horror, horror games or watching horror movies and or, or making music or something. Like, I like to go out and go running and go work out and stuff like that, but I'm a homebody at heart. You know, and I think that with a girl like Iris, again, she might seem unremarkable to most guys, but I think there is a certain beauty and appeal to her simplicity because of how easily she could fit into a guy's lifestyle without getting in the way. And so Safe XP says, to be fair, she is a whole decade younger than you. Um, and then Black Cell Neat says, not the reason. And then uh, he responds and says, yeah, I know I didn't see her comment until now. Well, you know, the, the thing is, when it comes to like age gaps, that more so depends on whether or not the girl is okay with that or not. I know some girls are okay with a significant age gap. Like you guys remember when I went on the Pineapple Show, um, I would watch that show regularly before I got up there. And one thing I noticed, like most of the girls up there are in their early 20s or mid 20s. And most of them were okay with an age gap of like 10 to 15 years. Like Melly would ask them, they'd be like, like what's the age range you're looking for? They would always say definitely not younger than me, but basically my age or about 10 years older. So if the girl was like, like let's say 25, she would be cool with just about anything up to like 35 and maybe scratching 40. Um, so really, it depends on the girl. But I'll, I'll say this too, though. Like, it's not that I'm unaware of that. And so before I even asked her out, that was one of the things that I was thinking about, right? Like the distance, um, the age gap. I have a small dick, <laughs> right? But the thing is, and, and this is this is a good point I gotta make because people, and I'm not saying this to, to, to shit on you specifically, but there are a lot of people, they will try to shame guys for not having the confidence to ask girls out, for not for not taking the leap and asking a girl, girl out. And what people need to understand is like, this is the type of shit that we think about. This is why we don't ask girls out because we take these things into consideration. Everything about ourselves that can be perceived as unattractive or negative, we take that into consideration and it becomes a justification to not ask the girl out. So I could see a girl and like her and think, well, you know, I'm older than her and she probably like, like there's a, a 10 year age gap. So she's not gonna like me based on that. That's no different than seeing a girl and thinking my dick is too small 
that's no different than seeing a girl and thinking she's not gonna like me because i'm black that's no different than seeing a girl and saying she's not gonna like me because i don't make enough money and so this is why god like again i'm just saying like this is why men do not ask out girls because there there is always gonna be a reason or a justification you can find to not ask her out right so i just don't want to see people bring stuff like that up and then at the same time question why guys don't have the confidence to ask out girls that's why we know these things <laughs> we know a girl might not like us based on any number of uh traits that could make us incompatible and so <laughs> kimo sabi says um uh, uh, Chad, do you need someone to talk to? If so, let's do a late night neat cast so everyone else can join in and cope. I know that I kind of leaned a bit heavy into the whole sad boy thing uh, when it came to this this video. Um, but you guys have to understand, like, I'm completely fine. Like, I'm really fine. <laughs> um, I think in the video, I expressed myself so openly and honestly about how I felt. And while I was definitely disappointed, I think at the same time, you know, I'm mature enough and wise enough and, and sturdy enough to where I can handle shit. Like, like when I asked her out, it wasn't done with any expectation of her saying, yes, let's go. I was 99.9999% sure that I was gonna get rejected. And I talked about this in the video. My reasoning for asking her, asking her out was more so to get the rejection out the way so we could just be friends, like real friends, not friend zone, I like you, but I'm scared to tell you. Like I wanted to get that out the way so we could just be legitimate friends and work together um as content creators give each other ideas and collaborate and shit like that um again disappointing sure but you guys know me i'm i'm supreme wizard o triple og <laughs> right i'm i'm fine it's it's i guess for me it's kind of weird because i can feel so deeply but at the same time and, and, and express that but at the same time it's like you got to know me to understand that i can handle shit like this like for me this isn't a big deal so juice dope 2669 says on the same video of course only chad and tyrone can project their sexuality women take it as a compliment and so he's talking about towards the end of the video when i was expressing why i feel afraid to ask girls out and um it's like i said when you at when you're asking a girl out it's an expression of your sexuality and it's like they have to kind of receive that in a way and i don't know if you guys have ever seen instances of the of this or maybe videos of this but like guys asking a girl out and how they can just get like the instant ick like girls will really feel legitimately disgusted by a guy sometimes if they ask her out not all girls but there are some guys some girls that they can't even hide they're disgust the disgust that they feel when a guy is asking them out and it's like they'll be perfectly nice to that same guy if it was like a casual conversation but once they feel like he's asking them out like they'll get that ick face they'll feel disgusted and i think that's what i always was afraid of the most asking a girl out because when you ask her out she's now put in that position where she could feel disgusted just by the, the act of you saying that you like her and that you see her that way. You know, you're basically expressing that you see her as a sexual creature and you want to have sex with her. You want to romance her. You want to be intimate with her. And I think those thoughts go through their head. And then the ones who aren't as polite or nice about it, like they'll be visibly disgusted and uncomfortable by you even making a move on them. And again, I think that's a big part of the reason why, um, or, or at least a, a big source of the fear of asking girls out for me is that as much as I love myself, as good as I feel about myself, I still feel like, like girls are disgusted by me or weirded out by me. And so I feel like I'm offending them by asking them out. And so uh, Juice Dope also says, Chad is having a taxi driver moment. Iris is the angel that came down to help you escape this hell, just like Travis and Betsy. But in the end, all the girls are the same, bro. <laughs> Cold and distant. And then uh, Kimo Sabi says, very keenly put, 
Ghostface says Travis Bickle peeled. I've never seen Taxi Driver. I've always seen it posted, like little screenshots, but I've never seen it. I think I should watch that and do a no singles allowed. Bring no singles allowed back just for <laughs> Taxi Driver. Um, but, you know, again, and I got to reiterate, like I was so certain I would get rejected. <laughs> so there was no sense of like hope on on my end you know i know better than that <laughs> i know better than than to than to think that um again it was more so just me getting it out of the way um but yeah it's uh i wouldn't necessarily say like the angel uh, it, if anything i would say that if anything i would just say that for me iris was just an example or rather proof that there are girls out there that I could see myself being compatible with. And I think that was exciting for me. But at the same time, I'm, I'm smart enough to know that more than likely it wouldn't work out. More than likely she wouldn't feel the same way. You know, like I'm just, I'm too far along on this single virgin journey to all of a sudden think that, okay, today, <laughs> this time, Right, not saying it couldn't happen in the future, but I'm just not the type to really get my hopes up when it comes to things like this. So I'm not like devastated about it. Um, it's just it's just disappointing in the fact that you know the, the stars just were not aligned for for me to to have the kind of girl that I could see myself being compatible with, which is something I've never really experienced before. And so Gambo san says, at least you tried spending the rest of your life wondering if it might have worked out is not a good burden to live with. And, and, and you know, I got to say this it's like it's, it wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> I could have not asked Iris out and I would not have cared. <laughs> the main reason why I did it was, like I said, I wanted to get it out the way so we could be friends. Because when you look at the whole concept of the friend zone what happens with guys is that they'll like a girl but instead of being up front with them they'll hide those feelings and they'll continue to interact with that girl and they'll be suffering the whole time <laughs> just suffering right and then three months later six months later a year later you know they'll finally come out of the blue and tell them i don't know if you guys saw it but there's like this meme like this, i don't know if it's a TikTok or a short or something but it's basically like like girls making fun of how guys will be your friend and then all of a sudden they ask you out getting ready to ruin the friendship that you've established basically making fun of like like how they have to deal with the friend zone from their their perspective and so my thing was i knew that i wanted to um you know collaborate with iris again in the future but i didn't want to be again friend zoned i I'm fine with being your friend, but I don't want to be friend zone in that I like you and I'm not telling you and then it's just going to build up and get worse over time. So I, again, my whole reasoning for doing it was like, I know I'm going to get rejected. I'm okay with getting rejected. It's this, it, you know, it's disappointing, but again, I'm realistic. I'm smart enough to see like that's the most likely outcome. I just want to get that out the way so that we can be like legitimate friends so we can really be cool and we can just work together without me having that in the back of my mind if it wasn't for the fact that i wanted to collaborate with her again in the future i wouldn't have said anything i wouldn't have done anything then um i really it was me doing it was more so just just so i could collaborate with her in the future without any sort of like uh, hidden feelings or intentions in the background let me get that out the way and then we can just be cool and so Jack Deep Jano says, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Better to have asked and no than live with the regret of what if. P.S. You shouldn't feel uncomfortable asking girls out. You are not a burden to them. You are actually a gentleman and polite and well within your rights to ask anyone out. So I wanted to make that clear. Sorry about this, though, bro. I know it's rough. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I love the encouragement. I love, you know, again, you miss 100% of the shots you don't better to have asked and know but i knew <laughs> i knew <laughs> you know um i think the overall disappointment of it it's not even asking her out 
and then getting the confirmation. Like I knew from the beginning, like even logistically, because of the the the, the distance, the age gap, things like that. Like I already knew like the writing was on the wall. So again, like I said before, my reasoning for asking it, it wasn't to um it wasn't because of that old normie saying, oh, you miss 100% of the... Dude, I don't care. <laughs> like, I could have I not done it and been okay. Um, there have been so many girls that I've been attracted to and never asked them out, and I don't care. I don't regret it whatsoever. But the difference is those were girls that I didn't know. Those were girls that um, I, w I was not interacting with regularly. Those were girls that I didn't have intentions of befriending and collaborating with in any sort of significant way. So I could just experience the attraction, not do anything and whatever. So again, I, don't, I just don't want people to get the idea um, that, that I felt like I had to do it for that reason. Like this was not a this was not a you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Like, it was not that. Again, it was, I knew I was going to get rejected. I expected that. I just wanted to get it out of the way. But again, the disappointment is more so just about, like, even from the beginning, you know it's not going to work out, right? Like, even from the beginning, um, it's like, damn, you find something, you find someone that you can see yourself being compatible with for the first time, and even before you ask, you already know the answer. You already know the reality because of the distance and things like that, right? That's the real tragedy of it is that, you know, even if she wanted to, it probably still wouldn't have worked out. And so Iris <laughs> says, if it weren't for the distance, I would have liked to date Marco. Thanks for not trashing me in the in the video, video. <sighs> <laughs> that feels nice uh so zan cartoon says lol now this is epic drama don't mind chad he's our special man appreciated your guys interview see i appreciate zan here because i feel like zan has a better understanding of of who i am and and what the rejection meant to me and what asking her out meant to me don't mind chad he's our special man. exactly <laughs> <laughs> he knows how I am. He knows how I'm thinking about this whole situation. Um, but then Iris uh, replies. She says, thanks. A lot of people are being mad at me right now over this and calling me nasty things. Someone posted gore in my server. It's not Chad's fault, but it's just very upsetting. Just wanted to post here to explain myself. And I got to be honest, I felt kind of bad like when I saw how Iris was taking it. Um, but... And, and, you, and I said it in a video. I asked Iris beforehand if I could make a video talking about the rejection. And she said it was cool. So I didn't want to just do the video um, without her permission because it was a private conversation. And so for me, that was the, the, that was the due diligence on my part that I felt I needed. But I didn't expect for her to get as much negative feedback as she did get. And I think part of the problem and why people reacted the way that they did is because on R9K, when you see Iris on R9K, you know, she's kind of doing like this sad girl thing. And she sometimes talks about like being lonely and how guys might not like her. I think a lot of people looked at this situation and was like, well, look, Iris, here you go. <laughs> here's a guy, here's a, 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 a handsome guy for you. You guys seem compatible. I think the reason why it bothered people or why people saw this as an opportunity to shit on Iris was because they couldn't understand why would you reject a guy that seems good for you when you've been complaining about you know, being sad and being lonely this whole time on R9K. Um, and that's just how, how I could assume they would look at it. But, you know, the thing that kind of, that kind of took me off guard a little bit was that I think I had expected Iris to have thicker skin. I didn't expect it to, to bother her so much like well really one i didn't expect the the negative feedback like i expected 
more of it to be on me. <laughs> this was supposed to be my humiliation ritual. <laughs> and so I was expecting people to kind of, you know, either sympathize or make fun of me for sounding like a simp. I did not expect it to go her way. And I wasn't like too, too worried about that. But then when I saw that it really bothered her, like some of the feedback she was getting, you know, that's when I felt kind of bad. But again, it's like, I didn't really get it because I thought that Iris had thicker skin because I would see her on R9K and I would see guys say nasty things about her. Like she got her fans, but she also has her haters. And so I didn't expect it to get to her at all. So even as it was happening, I was like, oh, this is just some fun drama. Just like what Zan says. Now, this is epic drama, right? <laughs> and that's kind of how I was looking at it. But when I found out that Iris was actually taking it personally, that's when I started to feel kind of bad. Um, but, um, you know, it, it is what it is. Maybe I was just projecting my own um like my own sense of of security when it comes to things like that because i can deal with people talking shit about me and whatnot without it really affecting me as much as it seems to have affected her i think that i just assumed that you know these r9k trolls couldn't get to her because i had seen her so often on r9k going back and forth with these guys and it always seemed like she was letting everything just roll off of her shoulders so i was like whatever happens as a result of the interview or the rejection video i'm sure she can handle it and i know damn well i can handle it um but i had no idea that it was going to get to her like that and so iris also says thanks i just am getting a lot of hate and called a lot of nasty things over this Someone joined my server just to post gore. Shame on you. <laughs> I just wanted to post some comments to explain myself. I'm sorry if anyone feels hurt or mad at me for this, but I really would have said yes if we knew each other better and it was viable for me to move to the US or him to move here. I find him attractive and would have loved to go out with him in real life and get to know him better, but it cannot seem to happen. And you know, it's like I said before, I knew what the answer would be before I even asked because the stars just were not aligned. You know, um, my disappointment is not towards Iris and whatever, like whatever her reasoning would be. Even if she said you were ugly buck to broke motherfucker, <laughs> I can accept that. You know, I can handle it. I, like that's not going to bother me too much. I've already you know program myself to accept that girls don't like me i'm fine with that that's cool but it's just that like even if she did because of the distance and things like that um more than likely it wouldn't have worked out anyway and so i think like my overall disappointment about the situation is just looking at it like as a whole that whether she liked me or not it probably wouldn't have worked out and that's just a shame you know when you find somebody that you see yourself uh that see yourself being compatible with and could connect with and then it but it's just the stars are on the line for it to happen chad himself is oh yeah zan says zan cartoon says chad himself isn't mad no one with the brain or life experience is mad but you hang around 4chan and use your identity and you're bound to get hate good luck zan you're <laughs> you're my guy <laughs> you're bringing reason into this whole um this whole uh, drama field situation. Um, but yeah, definitely I'm not upset at Iris. And again, and, and it's, dude, just like I said in the video, I legitimately, I hope we can collaborate and work together again in the future. I have no hard feelings towards her whatsoever. Even if it was just, even if she said straight up, I don't like you cause you're ugly. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm not entitled to any woman's affection or acceptance of, of my, um, you know, of my attraction to her, you know? So I'm cool with that. I'm hundred percent cool with Iris on my end. You know, I think that most of the issue was just some of the more immature people from R9K who looked at this situation as sort of proof that, or, I wouldn't say proof, but I think it made them look at Iris in such a way where they're like, like, how are you rejecting this, this guy 
that seems to be a good match for you. You're on R9K all the time and you're complaining about this and you're doing this whole sad thing. And then again, here you go and you you turn them down. I think that's how people are are looking at it, you know. But then you got more reasonable people like Zan Cartoons here who can, you know, look at things uh, for what they are and see that it's not a big deal. You know, it's it's for me, it's all in good fun. And so Ghostface says, maybe this will inspire a new song for volume 9003. It has. <laughs> it has actually. Probably not for the reasoning that you might think, but it has inspired um, a song for sure. And so mom NH5GB says she, she missed out. Ghostface says her loss unironically. And then uh Sadie N word says, could have swore she said in the thread she dates you, but you weren't interested. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't say she she missed out or anything like that. You know, Iris is a, a cute, she, she's a cute young woman, she has a good personality. Um, you know, you gotta look at it from, from her perspective as well. Um, like let's say she did like me, but there's still the distance thing. She's not like me in that. I don't have options. And not only that, like it's even harder for me because it's not just a matter of finding a girlfriend. It's a matter of finding a girlfriend that I'm compatible with, right? And so it, Iris even admitted, you know, in the video, in the interview that while, you know, she does have trouble finding guys that she's compatible with, she has no issue finding guys that would, you know, be attracted to her. Like she knows she could easily find guys in her area who would date her have sex with her and things like that um and so you got to think about it which would you rather do would you rather try to make some type of long distance relationship work or would you just take advantage of what you have readily available to you in your area you know you gotta think about it. iris has no reason to even try to make something like that work when she has men available to her in her area who might be more attractive than me more compatible with, with her than me you know i'm pretty damn awesome but <laughs> right there are plenty of awesome guys out there in the world and there are probably a lot that are around her closer to her area so even if she did like me um you know she has no reason to sell her, her sell herself short by trying to make a long distance relationship work when she doesn't need to because she can find guys in her own area unlike me <laughs> who can't really i'm the one that's fucked <laughs> Um, but then Sadie, Sadie N-word says, could have swore she said in the thread she date you, but you weren't interested. Um, I never said that I wasn't interested. I think it was that after the interview, I didn't really talk to her much. Um, because I was so excited by what I had just experienced. Again, this was my first time interacting with a girl that I had that kind of attraction towards, you know, I, I liked her personality, her energy. I could see us being compatible. That's new to me. And I was having simp thoughts. <laughs> I was too excited. And I said, you know what? I need to take a step back because the thing is when you get excited like that, that's an emotional thing. And sometimes our emotions get the better of us. And we, we tend to, you know, pestilize girls and sort of exaggerate their value and dude i knew that i liked her once like during the interview <laughs> i knew I, I knew that i liked her and at the same time i knew i needed to take a step back though and that's why i didn't really interact with her much after the fact because i needed to take a step back and let my emotions settle and let them die down a bit so i could actually think clearly about the circumstances and situation and before i even started interacting with her again already the logistics of it were not good because I, I started thinking about the you know the distance what if she's not okay with the age gap i don't have any money things like that and so again by that point once the excitement died down i was just analyzing it and already figuring out that more than likely it wouldn't work out and then Epic Minecraft fail says, so base posting this knowing she'll watch it. I look in my defense, I asked her and I even sent her a link to the video. I asked her, I made the video and I sent it to her. 
right? So it was all supposed to be in good fun. It was not supposed to be like this big drama situation. And so Kimo Sabi says, I thought I was high when I saw the notification. Then I remembered I don't have any weed. And then Ghostface says, for real, I didn't expect him to ask her out, not going to lie. You know, and I said this before, the reason why I asked her out was more so so we could just be friends. Because I knew the rejection was coming. I just wanted to get that out the way. Um, but the other reason why I didn't want to ask her out was, again, I want... I don't want to develop a reputation like I'm just I'm just using the the, the botcast to ask out girls, right? I didn't want to do you know, and that was one of the main reasons why I didn't want to. But I think what made Iris a special case was that I wanted to collaborate with her again in the future. You know, if if not for that, I probably would have just left it alone. I would have just let it be, for the sake of the professionalism of the botcast, you know. Because I just don't feel good about, um, you know, asking out girls that were kind enough to show up on my channel and do an interview and talk to me and things like that. I just, you know, I'm just not really com comfortable with that. But I think the combination of the, the excitement and the special occasion of meeting a girl like Iris that I could see myself being compatible with. Um, but also knowing that regardless of what she felt and what she would say, I would still like to have like a working relationship with her. Um, that's why I did it, you know, because I, I'm cool with it either way, because I really do just like Iris as a person. And, you know, I would just like I'm excited to even just be able to for us to be cool the same way I have, you know, male fans that I interact with regularly you know guys that have been like like the old some of the ogs that have been riding with me for years like you know i love seeing their comments and sometimes guys email me we talk on discord you know that sort of thing and i hope that me and iris can have that kind of like uh friendship moving forward especially as fellow content creators where we can collaborate and uh communicate give each other ideas and shit like that um but yeah, man, that was the Iris rejected me <laughs> response video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, again, make sure, I know my guys are good, but just make sure you guys treat Iris with all the kindness and respect that she deserves. Because, uh, you know, as, as far as I'm concerned, Iris, she's part of the clan. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. Johnny.